Many of you have asked, what themes or wallpapers do you use on your computer? Today, I will answer that question and show you other cool themes for Windows 10. In addition to the basic themes that primarily include a gallery of desktop backgrounds, along with other minor changes, I'll also be showing you system-wide themes that will dramatically change your user experience. Coming up next on Tech Gumbo. The quickest and easiest way to customize Windows 10 is to install the themes available on the Microsoft Store. For those of you that are new to Windows 10 or have never accessed the themes in the Microsoft Store, getting here is easy. Right click on your desktop and select Personalize. In the left pane, click on Themes and select Get More Themes in Microsoft Store. The themes found here include wallpapers, accent colors, and some include new sounds and other customizations. They have hundreds of themes here for you to choose from. To add a new theme, select the one you want. Then click on Get. That's all there is to it. Now I'll show you some of my favorite free themes from the Microsoft Store. Bridging the Gap is probably the most requested theme you all have spotted in other videos on this channel. It consists of 18 images showing bridges from around the world spanning rivers, chasms, gorges, and islands. Illusions by Josh Summers contains 19 images with creative illusions that will mess with your mind. While many of these may have you tripping out, there are others here that are slightly creepy. Either way, it's a very cool set of images to have on your desktop. Cosmic Beauty is a 20-set theme which contains awe-inspiring photos of the universe many of which were taken from the Hubble Space Telescope. There are also other images included from other telescopes located here on Earth. If you're the type of person that likes looking at images of computer hardware, Circuit Overload is the theme for you. It consists of 12 up-close images of printed circuit boards to give your desktop a very cool look. Let's now take a look at the themes not available in the Microsoft Store. Many of you will argue that Windows XP had the greatest design of any Microsoft operating system. If you're feeling nostalgic and want to give your PC that Windows XP look, the first thing you will need to do is to install Classic Shell. Then download and extract the Classic Shell XP suite for Windows 10. Those links will be in the description. I'll now go through the steps quickly. Pause if you need to. After you've installed Classic Shell and extracted the Classic Shell XP Suite to your preferred folder, right-click on your taskbar and select Taskbar Settings. Where it says Use Small Taskbar Buttons, toggle this one on. In the left pane, click on Colors. And in the third row, furthest from the left, select the blue color. Scroll down and make sure that Title Bars is enabled. Close this window out, right click the Start Menu button and select Settings. Select the Taskbar tab and enable Customize Taskbar. Select Taskbar Texture, click on the three dots and select the XP underscore BG PNG file and click on Open. Under Horizontal Stretching, make sure that Tile is selected. Select the Start Button tab Tick on Replace Start Button, select Custom Button, then click on Button Image and three dots, and select XPButton.png, then open it. Click on OK. The final step is to apply the Bliss wallpaper. So right click on your desktop and select Personalize. In Background, select Picture, then Browse, and find the Bliss wallpaper. Select it, then click on Choose Picture. Where it says Choose to Fit, in the drop-down, select Stretch. Close out the window, and now you have a desktop that looks like you're running Windows XP. If you're willing to put in the time and effort, there are third-party websites with cool-looking themes that you can add to your computer. One of the most popular is DeviantArt. And another one I've used is Skin Packs. In addition to the free themes offered on these websites, some of the creators provide paid versions of their themes with additional features. 
on DeviantArt and skin packs. Some of these themes may require that you install Ultra UX Theme Patcher, which will unlock your system's customization capabilities by patching a series of files on your computer. Before using any theme or installing any software from any of the sites mentioned in this video, be sure to create a system restore point. It's better to be safe than sorry, as you could run into issues that could break your system. In other words, use at your own risk. On DeviantArt, here are some of the themes you might want to try out. I'll go through these quickly. Pin number 10 is a dark theme with neutral colors that's easier on the eyes. If you're a fan of the NVIDIA color scheme, you'll enjoy this one with the darker colors along with the NVIDIA green, which makes a nice contrast. Simplify 10 Lite is actually a collection of five Windows 10 themes that offer a cleaner, minimalistic look. The Grey Eve theme is a really cool dark theme. Because it's high contrast, certain programs will look different. This may not be the theme for you if you use Microsoft Word and Excel. The Lab Windows 10 Visual Style reskins the UI, reducing contrast across the entire system. And Seda is a theme which includes light and dark grays to give your open windows a different look. Here are the themes on the SkinPacks website that will enhance the visual appearance of Windows 10. The macOS Mojave Skin Pack gives you the best of both worlds. The visual appeal of Apple's latest desktop operating system while running a more powerful Windows computer. The Silk theme will make your screen more appealing with colors that can be customized. The Oxford theme provides a minimalistic design to give Windows 10 a cleaner look. If you want to give your system a transparent, glassy interface, the Aeroglass theme may be what you're looking for. Flatastic is another minimalistic theme which has 16 versions. Included are 8 light themes and 8 versions of their dark theme. And the Ubuntu Skin Pack is a cool theme that changes the look of Windows 10, replacing it with a user interface that is similar to the Ubuntu operating system. Thanks for watching. All links are in the description. If this video was useful for you, give it a thumbs up and share with others. Do you have a favorite theme not mentioned? Let us know about it in the comments. And if you're new to this channel, subscribe and click the bell so you don't miss out on the newest Windows 10 videos and other tech-related stuff from Tech Gumbo.